news today as the Gators land another commitment from an in-state recruit and they solidify their defensive back class even further. Corey Raymond landed a really talented kid over North Carolina and Miami. Teddy Foster is now a Gator. Y'all, he is 6'2", 170 pounds from Sarasota, Florida. He is a three-star on both on three and 24-7. He took his official visit on June 16th, which one of those June weekends where there was so much talent on campus. He is the prototypical type that Corey Raymond likes. 6'2", 170 pounds, like I said, room to grow. He plays both cornerback and wide receiver in high school. That is pretty important, and I'll get to why in a minute. Let's talk a little bit about his stats from the 2022 season. On defense, he had 38 tackles, nine pass breakups, and two interceptions. And then on offense, he had 17 receptions for 242 yards and three touchdowns. Okay, so plays both ways. Let me tell you why that is so advantageous for a cornerback. You have you ever heard the, the saying, oh, he plays defense because he doesn't have good hands? He plays wide receiver, guys, for his high school. He's got great hands. That is exactly the type of player that we want playing corner. Those are the type of guys that come down with interceptions. Those are the type of guys that make blocks on, on special teams. Those are the guys that end up being return men. Guys that played wide receiver and make the move to defense come with a unique set of skills, and that is going to be huge. That's part of why Corey Raymond is so attracted to Teddy Foster. He is really long and athletic, which is also something that Raymond looks for in a corner. His wingspan and his size is really impressive. He moves really naturally, and he's pretty quick in those movements. I'm not saying he's a day one guy by any means, but he is absolutely somebody that Raymond can develop. Raymond is so good. Billy Napier putting him in charge of the entire secondary just looks smarter and smarter by the day. This defensive back class is filling up really nicely. Corey Raymond is a great, not only developer of talent, which I feel like we've talked about on this channel a lot, but he is a great identifier of talent. And that is exactly what he's doing for the Gators. I cannot wait to watch Corey Raymond be in charge of this entire secondary. I've done videos in the past about why it's advantageous to have the same guy coaching cornerbacks and safeties, but let's go over it again, right? You need to know whose fault it is on the field when a mistake is made, whose job is to cover who, where, where someone is supposed to be. If you have two different coaches coaching the cornerbacks and the safeties, sometimes there can be miscommunications. One room can be saying, oh, it's that, that room's fault, and the other room can be saying the exact opposite. There's one team captain here. There is one chief one person in command, and that is Corey Raymond. It is going to make identifying mistakes easier. It is going to make learning exactly where you should be in your position earlier. It's going to make understanding his schemes easier. He is obviously going to use the same language with both the cornerbacks and the safeties. It's just really advantageous. And I think that it was such a smart move that Billy Napier made this offseason. And we know Corey Raymond puts guys in the NFL. So he identifies talent, he develops that talent, he gets that talent to the league, and now he gets to be in charge of the whole room. I just think that that is a win all the way around for Florida. Florida won this battle against UNC and Miami, and we've talked about this. We talked about this in a commitment video that just happened a couple of days ago. But going up against in-state programs like Miami – are battles that the Gators have to win. And this recruiting cycle, the 2024 class, Billy Napier has stuffed Mario Cristobal in the locker over and over again. The Miami Hurricanes are usually pretty confident on the recruiting trail. The Gators have completely dominated them. And that's huge. Florida has tons to offer. They are incredible academic school. They have great facilities. They play in the best conference in college football. It should be an easy sell against our in-state rivals. But if Florida wants to return to the dominance that we experienced in the 2000s, they need to make sure that they win every single state battle. And this was a step in the right direction. 
A lot of folks look at star ranking and immediately make up their mind about how good a kid is. So listen, I know that we skew pretty positive here on this channel, but I think that all you need to look at is how big of a priority Billy Napier and this staff made Teddy Foster to know how much they wanted him. So I don't think that this three stars matter. Although I will tell you, I think with a great senior season, you're going to see his stock increase. Teddy Foster is a dog. He is the kind of guy Corey Raymond wants in this class. Billy Napier thinks he has the talent to make an impact in this secondary. They went out, identified him, brought it home. So don't pay attention to the stars. One of the things that Foster said was in an interview with On3 when talking about Coach Napier is that UF made him a priority target. They told him he's a priority target, and they think that he can be a key piece to this rebuild puzzle for the Gators. So don't look at the stars. Teddy Foster is a Gator because Billy Napier thinks he has what it takes to make this team better. And honestly, that's good enough for me. Let's go. The Gators have been absolutely crushing this recruiting class, and they continue to maintain the number three class in the country. We've been told about a few more commits that are likely coming pretty soon. So this is what you need to do. You need to make sure that you are locked in with this channel. That means hit the subscribe button. You do not want to miss these updates because we've got them coming out as soon as they happen. If you want to watch more of Teddy Foster's highlights, courtesy of cuddle.com, stay tuned because they're coming up right now. If not, you can skip ahead and check out a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. If you missed our most recent chat with On3's uh, director of scouting and rankings, you can click right here to watch it.